This was not something I expected to get. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. If this is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. I'm going to just cut to the chase and say, I got a wishlist item. And I was surprised to get the wishlist item because they said that it was sold out everywhere. Some of you may have seen my 2021 luxury and lifestyle wishlist video that I posted very recently. I'll link it above and below. A few of the items on my wishlist were from Coach, a contemporary designer, as opposed to something like Chanel or YSL luxury houses. One of the items that I particularly wanted and I had been wanting for a while was a Coach Cassie, specifically in the Oxblood color. Now I had been interested in the Coach Cassie for quite a while. I'd seen a bunch of unboxings and what fits and how to wear it and what it looks like on the body, and I really, really liked this bag. The Coach Cassie, which is often said to resemble the Pochette Matisse, is actually supposedly based on the original Coach bag, the Coach Court. Now I actually have a Coach Court. This is a vintage Coach bag from 1989 that I found in a thrift store, and it was originally so pale and dried out that I thought it was bone. I have since cleaned it up and conditioned the heck out of it, and now it is a beautiful leather piece. This is the original glove tan leather from Coach. I mean, talk about quality. This is amazing and it's held up pretty well considering that it's over 30 years old. It's a beautiful bag and I have absolutely no qualms with it, but I wanted something that fit just a little bit more for those daily activities and excursions that I wanted to take like my planner and my notebook and some other things with. The cool thing about this is it actually fits a small water bottle on the bottom. And so I would take like my small water bottle of phone, keys, wallet, hand sanitizer, etc. It's a beautiful bag. Love it. Works great. Would be happy to make a video about it if you want me to. So just let me know. I really am interested in vintage bags in general. And I actually got started on my sort of bag journey with Vintage Coach. So hey, fun fact. But back to my wishlist item, the Coach Cassie Knox Blood. Now, the Coach Cassie Knox Blood was a very popular color, and it was selling on the Coach website and was going in and out of stock. And especially during Black Friday last year in 2020, it was on sale for 50% off, and I didn't go for it because I was busy focusing on other things. The Coach Cassie normally sells for $350, and it was down to $175, and then the sale ended, so it went back up to $350. Coach had its end of year sale, December, January, where it also had certain bags for 50% off. Now the Coach Cassie in chalk and black were still the regular 350, but occasionally a Coach Cassie in a color would pop up for 50% off. So they had the Cassie in like their pink color and their slate blue and their gray very once in a while and would sell it very quickly. For a split second, they had the Coach Cassie in Oxblood on sale for 50% off and I debated too long and then it was gone. So it sold out, right? But at this point I had made the decision that I did want to purchase it. So what I did was I contacted Coach Client Services and I said, hey, I'm interested specifically in the Coach Cassie in the Oxblood color. Is it available anywhere? And I can buy it. And they said, there is one store in your state that has the Coach Cassie in Oxblood color, but they might not actually have it. It might not be listed for sale. It might just be like, they didn't update their inventory yet. When I tried to contact the store, they said no, it was out of stock. So boo on that, out of luck. However, I, I mean, I don't know why I thought this would bear fruit because coach.com said that they were completely out of stock, but I figured I might as well just call my local mall, my local coach and be like, hey, so looking for this color in this bag, do you have it? Or if they could do is say no, right? So I did. <laughs> And uh, I talked to a lovely SA who said, actually, we just got one in today in Oxblood. It was a return. Someone purchased it as a gift and the person didn't like the Oxblood color. So they returned it and exchanged it for something else. So they had one. Just It was literally the last one uh, apparently in the country for sale. So I said, okay, can you hold it for me so I can come get it? And she said, no, unfortunately, since it's the last one, we can't hold it. But what I can do is I can keep it in the back and not put it out yet for a couple of hours if you want to come get it today. Okay, I said, I guess I'm coming today. That's what I did. I basically ate lunch and then got into my car and drove to the store and came in. I said, hi, is SA here? And she's like, oh, yes, that's me. I'm like, hi, so I am here for the Coach Cassie in Oxblood, if that is still here? Is it here? And he goes, oh yeah, it's still in the back. So she went to get it and she brought it out. So since it was a return, it didn't have any of the packaging on it, but I inspected it. It was a gift. So the person had just like recently gotten it and taken it back. I looked it over. The Coach Cassie sometimes have 
glazing issues. So I was really careful to look over that because sometimes they're prone to cracking. So I just wanted to make sure it was in good condition and it was nothing wrong with it. And I walked out of the store with it. So here it is. They did not give me a box for it because I guess possibly it was a sale bag, but they just put it in a bag and put it in the dust bag and that was it. I don't have an issue with this. Like it would have been nice to get a box, I suppose, but I don't mind not having had gotten a box. I'm just going to reveal it to you now. And I'm excited because I waited to use this bag until I filmed this video. So this is the first time I'm actually really seeing it, seeing it again. And all right, I'm not going to wait anymore. And here it is, the Coach Cassie in Oxblood. I think this is a really, really pretty color. I like that it's still a neutral, even though it's not a black. I have several black bags and I didn't want another. And I like the Cassie in chalk, but I cannot be trusted with chalk bags. I have one and that is enough for me. I really, I'm really pleased. It was, I can't believe that it was a return. Like I was really lucky to have called and asked and then it was in like, I really lucked out, I think. I really lucked out. So it's in the pebbled leather, which I like because it's much more durable. As it's in a darker color, I don't have to worry as much about color transfer. It's got a fabric lining. This is like this nice fabric lining. It's a smooth coach fabric lining with coach emblazoned on it. And the inside is also lined. It comes with this crossbody strap. It's got the brass accented hardware with the coach C turn lock. So I really like turn lock bags. I've noticed this about myself. Top handle, which I also really like. I greatly prefer my bags to have top handles along with straps. And you'll notice that my Coach Court also has the top handle. I think it actually might be fun to do a comparison video to the Coach Court, which is the original to the Coach Cassie. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below. It might not be something that people generally would go to my channel for since I'm mostly focused on like luxury and contemporary designers, but I don't know, I think that'd be a fun video to do. So just let me know what you think. We've got the coach hang tag, which I will probably take off. I'm not a huge fan of the hang tags swinging from the bags. So probably just tuck that in so it doesn't get lost. It's got a pocket in the back, which is super duper handy. And it's got the three pockets in the middle, this like slip in the back pocket in the big pocket in the middle and then other pocket. And this big pocket has a slip over here and a zipper pocket. And again, a lot of people say that this bag very much resembles the Pachette Matisse, which I do not disagree with. There's a, a lot of similarities. One might argue that there are more similarities to the Pachette Matisse than to the original Coach Court, but that is really neither here nor there. It's a beautiful bag and bag styles are going to look similar sometimes. Eh. So I'm not going to change the camera angle to show what fits inside this bag because I obviously just unbox the bag now. So I'm going to just kind of see what happens. I might do a more in-depth video about this, but at this time I'm just, I unbox it. I wanted to show what fits and then not too long a video. So as I said before, two of the things I really wanted to fit were my planner and my notebook. So those are some of the things that I have waiting in a pile to see how it fits. The first thing is my phone. Now I'm filming on my phone, but this is a ginormous iPhone 6s plus, which is not much bigger than the phone that I have, honestly, once I have the case on it. So I'm going to just put that in the back slip pocket and it fits in super nicely with no distortions. Yay. Cool. Open the middle section. First off planner with sticky outy pencil. Let's just, let's just see. Okay, no problem. My current notebook until I run out of pages because I use notebooks quite a lot as I'm sure you've noticed in my videos. I really like this one. It's cute. It's from Green Room. Paperweight, really, really nice. I very much enjoy Green Room's paperweight. I'm a nerd, guys. Like, I just am. It's true. I admit it. It's, you know, what am I? I'm not under any illusions that I'm not. So, meh. Anyway, into the bag. Let's see. Fits very nicely. Okay. Card holder. I'm going to just slip that into the little pocket in the front of the big pocket. That's easy. Keys with my Louis Vuitton clay. I'm going to just put that in the, in the back right there. 
tissues. Let's see. Just also slip that in the back. And this is the other thing. So I have a bunch of like miscellaneous items that I like to carry, like hand sanitizer and lip balm and hand cream and like a menstrual pad or whatever. So I have that all in my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. So just a bunch of stuff, you know, here. So that's all in the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. So I am curious with all the other stuff in this bag, if this is going to fit inside and we will see. I'm pretty sure that the loose items would fit inside, but I'm wondering if the pochette will fit in with everything else. So let's just the front pocket here. Okay, so it fits inside. It does bulge out a little, but let's see if it'll close. It's just to just to check, right? Just to see. And it does. It closes with all that in it. It's a little bit stuffed, obviously. The flap is kind of pushing out and is slightly distorted in the back. Now you can see the outlines of my phone. But really, that's a lot of stuff that can fit in it. I probably would downsize a little bit. And I, I will also say that I'm a little more willing to stuff a less expensive bag just because I worry sort of less about keeping it as pristine as, you know, a, a, a couple hundred dollars versus a couple thousand dollars is a difference there. I still treat all my bags well. I really do, but I don't mind putting a little bit more in a bag like this, especially if I was just going to use it as a daily and then take stuff out of it at the end of the day. But yeah, that's awesome. Look at all that stuff fits. I might use a different size pouch. I might downsize a notebook or whatever, but I'm sure that if I wasn't carrying the mini pochette, and I was just carrying like the loose items that would all fit in there totally fine. Probably could fit a compact wallet instead of a card holder. This would probably fit a full size wallet if you're not carrying two notebooks like I do. So yeah, that is, that is awesome. I am very, very pleased. Hooray. I'm so happy to finally have this bag. Really happy I got it in the color that I wanted. Last one in the country and store apparently. So that's fun. <laughs> For those of you who are interested in the Coach Cassie, the chalk and the black are still being sold on the coach.com website. They also have a Coach Cassie 19, which is a smaller version of the Cassie, which actually comes with three handles, a long crossbody strap, a shoulder strap, and a top handle, all of which can be detached and played with. So that's kind of cool. So if you're interested in all that, but a smaller bag, the Coach Cassie 19 might be a really good choice too. Just wanted to give some mod shots with Coach Cassie too, trying my best here. For reference, I am again 5'7 and approximately 130 pounds. So this is just a top handle. It's very cute. This is the crossbody strap. It is an adjustable strap, so this is it just on this length. And crossbody. Yeah. So what do you think about this bag? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it copies the Pachette Matisse too much? Do you think that it's a beautiful bag in its own right? I happen to think it is a beautiful bag in its own right. And I love the color. If you own a Coach Cassie, please let me know how you like it or, or even how you use it and what you carry in it because I'm always interested to see how different people utilize the same bag. I think that's cool to know. I also really wanted to quick mention that I am currently doing a giveaway. It is for this Louis Vuitton clay and it runs until February 28th, 2021. If you're interested in participating in this giveaway and you haven't yet, I'll leave a link to the giveaway video with the instructions up above and down below. So feel free to check that out if this is something that you're interested in winning. If you like this video, please do give it a like because it super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content because it helps the algorithm even more. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.